me and Derek actually, we had to fit between those two spikes about this big. We had to fit in between it. So I know we practiced a few times. I had to step up onto like a little mount and basically I'd be turned. Let's, let's do a little reenactment. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I would have to step up. So basically, I think it was, I, I would step and turn. And then we'd step one and turn off that boom. And I would just go <laughs> So we had to get it right. He had to be very gentle and delicate, even though he's been very vicious. So he has a nice touch, soft hands, and just a great heart. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, it was fun to do. It's always good to do your own stunts. Jackie Chan taught me that. <laughs> no, Travis was awesome. He, he, he uh, embraced the, uh, the stunts like amazingly well. He was he's such a not to blow him in front of everybody. He's such an amazing athlete. There's uh, kids in the room. But a lot of horror fact about you, which people would dig, a uh, uh, horror coincidence, uh, your previous double, uh, Chris Carnell, uh, left Friday the 13th uh, to do uh, My Bloody Valentine, and he played the minor in My Bloody Valentine, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it was funny, because yeah. Chris and I have been friends for a long time, like, hey, we're actually on Friday, he's like, oh man, I'm gonna, I just got a call, I'm gonna go do another show called um, My Bloody Valentine or something, they want me to be the killer, dude, it's gonna be awesome, I'm like, are you kidding me? Another notch. 
Yeah. Scratch yeah. for Derek. How you doing, Derek? Hey, good, man. Having a good time. How are you? Good. Um, nice. Hey, what did Jason look like behind the mask? What was the inspiration? Then? You know, was oh, um, what did Jason look like behind the mask? Uh, Scott Stoddard, uh, who designed the makeup, is a big fan of the series. Uh, he said it was a combination of uh, uh, the kind of the hillbilly Jason from Part Two. I think he said, um, I want to say uh, Brooker's Jason from underneath the mask, and he kind of melded the two together. Um, but yeah, same thing with the, with the uh, I forget what he said to the mask also, the actual uh, hockey mask. He combined two different masks together because he, he's a fan of the series and he wanted to, you know, kind of do like winks and nods to, the, uh, to all the fans. So it's kind of cool. I thought it was really respectful of that. Hey, Derek, how you doing? <clears throat> what was the, uh, was the burlap set very difficult to wear? The burlap set? I want to put the sack on? Yeah. No, um, it, it was, uh, oh, yes and no. I mean, it, it cuts off your, your vision. You lose all your depth perception. And when you're racing at one of your friends with a machete and you have to stop inches from them, it kind of screws things up. It's a lot of trust involved. But uh, no, it wasn't, um, it was kind of gross after a while. Like you sneezed or something and kind of got wet and it would kind of stick to your face. <laughs> you couldn't really tell anybody about it because then you'd be like a freakazoid. But no, oh, no, it's part of the goo. No, it's, it's part of the stuff. No. Dry up the movies before you got the roles for the new one? The first one was my favorite. I like watching the first one the best because at the very end, you know, it's revealed who the real, real killer is. Um, there was just a lot of those scary, eerie moments uh, when they were in, there was one where they were in the, uh, the bathroom and you keep looking and you're like, oh, okay, no one's over there. No one's over there. And all of a sudden, you know, they pull it open. It's just, and I liked, I liked the first one the best. It's my favorite. Betsy Palmer. <laughs> uh, mine was the uh, part four. I really dug uh, Ted White's Jason. And um, I don't know, it was weird to, to get personal with everybody. Um, when I was younger, I mean, growing up, I have a disorder called alopecia, which I don't grow a lot of hair. The hair falls out, you know, at an early age and whatnot. Now it's like, when I was younger, I'm like, oh, I'm different, this sucks. But now it's like the coolest thing in the world. Stairs uh, when his head parts his shade, trying to uh, emulate uh, Jason as a child. Yeah. I really tied into it. Hold on. What, Friday? Tell her to call you right now. <laughs> give, him the, give him the microphone. This is awesome. Give the Everyone just stare. So awesome. <laughs> uh, so anyways, with, the, uh, uh, with Corey Feldman going down the stairs and head partially uh, shaved, the hair sticking out, uh, that's at the time how I looked. I had uh, at the time called alopecia areata, so I had partial hair loss, so little chunks of hair would fall out. And I remember being kind of emotional and watching, I went, wow, I'm, I'm kind of like a little version of Jason. I'm, I'm like that. And so I totally related to it, and I really liked the film. And I think it's so bizarre now. As coming full circle, being able to play Jason, it's a little kind of creepy about it. If you would have known that then. Yeah, if I only knew. But no, I don't need to bring everybody down, but that was, that's kind of why I like part four. You just brought me up. That was a great story. For real? What are the inspirations? Stop it. All right. Hi, this question's for Derek. Um, what do you feel you bring to the part rather than the people from the 80s bring to it? Like, what different things do you bring to the character? Charisma, number one. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. I, I think, I mean, it, it's, uh, if you go back to, to an acting with Greek, Greek mask theory, that the mask is one entity and the actor is a second entity. When you put them together, it, the recipe is it, it, it'll become a third entity. So, depending on, everyone has their different life experiences in the past, um, th throughout their life. And so whatever you, whatever person you put with that mask, you're automatically going to get something different. It's like handwriting, or like how you make a D and how I make a D. Completely different, but it's still a D. It's our own style, so we bring our, ourselves. I don't know how, why I started talking this way away from you. I'm sorry, I started pointing. I'm losing it. Is there talks of another uh, sequel to the last one? I'll be here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>